Thank you. So right now, nearly 100 million Vietnamese people are suffocating under the Communist Party of Vietnam's authoritarian rule. I was initially sh sheltered from this harsh reality that plagued my homeland, but fate intervened, and my weakening began. When I was 19, I moved to France to study computer science. It was the first time in my life that I'd be able to search the internet freely. I was shocked to learn about how the Communist Party of Vietnam wins its authoritarian power. For decades, they have done everything they can to squat political opposition. They stalk, harass, imprison, and torture anyone who dares to disagree, showing little regard for human rights. This new far awareness ignited a fire within me, and despite the risk, I became an advocate for democratic reform in Vietnam. So in 2006, I founded Viet Youth for Democracy, a platform dedicated to countering the oppressive regime. Then I joined the Democratic Party of Vietnam. I worked tirelessly to promote human rights and democracy. I'm with a master's degree in computer science. I returned to Vietnam in 2007. This decision will shape the next decade of my life. I endure army enlistment, imprisonment, and probation, a crueling nine-year journey marked by surveillance, social and economic isolation, and threats to my family. Despite the challenges, my determination remained unshaken. Right after being released in 2014, I forged connection with pro-democracy allies, led for civil society groups, and advocated for prisoners of conscience in Vietnam. On that faithful Friday, August 18, 2023, the security service attempted to kidnap me, but I eluded their grasp. Fleeing Vietnam, I sought refuge in Thailand before finally finding safety in Germany. The German government granted my family political asylum, and on December 15, 2023, we arrived in our new home. Today, as an advocate in exile, I recognize that authoritarian regime transcends borders. The impact reverberates globally. So I stand before the world, urging international solidarity. Let us support democratic movements, combat dictatorship, and safeguarding fundamental rights of all. Thank you.